uh, welcome back to getting started with the termite uh, so in this video now we are going to call the termite intelligence from the termiteness and asking for a new alternative so we send the mount a pheromone directly from the grasshopper termiteness so we are now going to the termite tab and then the new um, component that we are going to use today is the pheromone request so the pheromone request takes multiple inputs first one is the boundary as the, uh, the boundary that we usually draw in the drawing canvas of the termite intelligence here uh, we have the uh, canvas of the drawing with the rectangle and polyline and here we can use the uh, geometrical uh, library of the rhino for draw the boundary and then identifying the point for the entry the space info that we uh, take it from the uh, call project component i bring it down now so we can connect it to this and then identifying the starting space project id uh, the, the 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 project that this alternative is belonging to so this project id is this project uh, uh, so i'm working with this project 66 i connect it to the project id and then the active button um, uh, when it's true it sends the request to the termite intelligence so first of all let me clean it up a little bit so i'm just maybe like that so we need to draw a boundary first of all i can create a new layer give it the name of the boundary and then i activate these uh, uh, this layer and start to draw a polyline so here I can have my uh, additional layout that is already generated uh, behind uh, beneath my uh, drawing so I can get help from that or I just can hide it now just using uh, the empty canvas. So now I'm just going for the simple drawing and then in the next uh, example I'm going to show you how you can go for multi-story uh, building and sending requests for each of them inside the project. So we are going to add complexity one by one. So first of all let's go uh, get a start with simple boundaries and simple geometries. So uh, now I create a polyline want to add a little bit of change to the shape of this boundary then we get the area 1489 so it's too much oh sorry here is the problem because now we are in the centimeter and as i mentioned in the previous videos it's you have to be aware of that that it's it's the best to start with the mm, uh, meter unit if you want to send mount from to termite intelligence from termite nest so i create a new document from the file and then select a small object meters so the layers of the window and the doors are deleted and that's why the component turns to the orange so I can even save all them and come here. We draw a, line, uh, a polyline again. So for <coughs> polyline, I go for some random shape 89. Under 29 and then I bring it, this, bring it up to make it a little bit smaller. Under 9. Okay. Then I uh, and I use the palm of the curve to take this boundary, to take this geometry as, uh, for the boundary, and another. So I, I just 
drive inside the, this layer, I can change this layer to the boundary and then select this geometry and change its layer. Then the next one, I uh, create a layer with the name of the entry and drop a point for that. So I know that the entry point is here. And then I can select it uh, from this param and give it to the entry. Then the next thing I, I need is the name for this alternative. I give it the name of alter3. The starting space and the active component. Then I can use the value list connecting to that. Okay. Can press it here and then it calls the name of the spaces directly from the uh, project that I have. So I start with the inference. Here we are. All everything is now uh, the same as the inputs that we have in the drawing of the thermite intelligence. So we just give it by the component uh, to send the formal. So here we have the required area 100.6, the area of the boundary. Uh, 100 uh, sorry the, the required area is 106 and the, the area of the boundary that I uh, uh, the area of the boundary that I created is 109 so uh, it's okay and then I can just send it then it gives me the pop-up uh, request to send refresh the connection to see the status so I can refresh the object and the uh, call project and here we are, so the new pheromone is sent and with the name of the alternative screen and the status is in pending and I can refresh it again and it's still pending so we said that once it's in pending mode it means that the workers didn't deliver it to the termites inside the colony yet so I can even come to the dashboard of the termite you can see now it's in the pending it means that it's delivered to my dashboard uh, so but it's not delivered to the termites inside my colony and and, uh, and there is a one drop off from my number of the requests that I can have and then meanwhile I can just change the position here to here and then send a new one ah sorry I just forgot to change the name so and then I delete this and create a new circular shape this is the size of this and then I give it to boundary Let's put it up here like the others but in the shape of the circle and then inside my dashboard I can see there so two of them are in generating mode and the other one is in pending mode I can wait for them to be generated so I can I can reload it from from the Rhino to see the generating. Now I just Refresh it again. Yeah. 
so we refresh and one alternative is done the second the next one is already in generator mode the termite inside the colony took the next one so id is 111 i come here and the mount id 111 let's realize it okay let's turn off this boundary so here is the result of the alternative that i sent directly from the termite uh, nest i can browse it now changing the so how many do we have? We have 31. So we have 31 results now here. Okay. Sounds good. 